We're gonna take a little look at a featuring drill here. Linnea has shown you how to, how to build a featuring board. I've actually got her featuring board here, but I've also got a natural feature that I'm using. This is basically just a curb edge in a park. So just a pretty simple curb edge here that I'm using, not a square edge curb, just kind of something kind of forgiving. And so what I'm gonna be doing here is practicing my featuring. So I'm gonna be practicing featuring using this, and then I'm also gonna be practicing using the feature board. And then from there, after making arcs off these, using that as practice, I'm gonna use that practice to allow myself to start to create a, a, an actual J-hop, so to actually hop up and over the curb. So this is a great way to start to get the movements needed for a proper bunny hop by practicing your feature. And also we can see here that we don't necessarily need to have a feature board in order to practice our featuring. It can be nice because then you're portable and you can use that to set up little gaps and things like that. So we'll take a little look through here and uh, see what we can learn from this. So again, it's a pretty simple setup here. Uh, I'm just gonna back this up a little bit. So as I'm coming in toward here, the other thing I've done that I didn't mention there is I've basically set up these cones here. These are my preload cones. And uh, the, the cones here in this position are set up a little bit closer to the curb because I'm using the curb. The cones that are further back are set up for the feature board, which is a little bit away. So essentially I'm setting these cones up about a bike length or maybe a little bit more away from uh, my feature that I'm going to be using. And that's going to give me, that's going to be where I should be really like actively preloading in that moment. So we'll take a look here. You can see me approaching here. I'm just getting ready to put my preload in and I'm going to be using the curb this time, this first time through. So I'm going to come in and I'm really going to press down through my legs at the cones there. And I'm holding that compression until just before I contact that you'll see me just starting to come out here. So I'm really pretty compressed, just starting to rise up a little bit. And I contact here, boom, front wheel contact. And this is the, really the key here back wheel contacts. It's the back wheel contacting, just as in jumping, that's actually gonna give me a nice flight arc in the air. So I'm gonna land front wheel first with the back wheel landing more or less exactly where the front wheel landed. So that's, that's a really important element here eventually. Um, and you'll be able to see that in one of the videos online here where I'm jumping to a landing and I'll be able to get both wheels down the back slope of the landing because I'm, I'm doing it correctly. So just gonna buzz back through, do another lap. This time I'm actually gonna use Linnea's feature board as I come through. So feel pretty similar. It's just a little bit more of an abrupt hit. So I get a little bit different flight arc from it. So nice compression down through the legs. Again, if we look here, we can see how I've really moved into this compressive fork. I'm getting some knee bend, but I'm not collapsing. So pressing pretty hard here. My hips are still nice and lined up over the bicycle and my center of mass is still pretty squarely placed here over the bottom bracket. So we can see I'm pretty lined up here over the bottom bracket, which is where I wanna be. And I'm looking forward. So I've got a nice posture here. That's really important. So as I use this feature board, we're gonna see it's a little different flight arc because it's a bit more of an abrupt takeoff, but very similar here. I'm gonna get good front wheel lift front wheel lifts and the back wheel is going to meet or exceed the height of the front if all goes well. So I hit into there, boom, so the back wheel comes up and kicks me into a nice arc. I get my front wheel landing and my back wheel landing basically in the same place. This is the same drill we're going to use for learning to hop. So on this next one through, I'm going to come through and actually do a hop. So I'm going to, I'm going to bunny hop or what we call J hop or the American hop where we're taking off with the wheels in the same place. And I'm gonna use the same exact technique, but you're gonna notice here that I'm gonna preload two or three feet earlier before the cones so that I can actually jump up over the curb. Now, hopping is not my strong skill here, so it's a little tough on my back sometimes, but I can, I can still make this work, so I'm gonna press down here. So notice that the compression is a little bit earlier because I'm gonna take off earlier in an effort to actually now hop up over the curb. Okay, so got a, a, some, a somewhat decent hop, not super great, but you get the idea here. And notice here that because of the practice that I had with the feature board, that the wheels are taking off more or less in the same place as they were, as, as, each, as one another. So front wheel takes off, back wheel takes off more or less in the same place, and that's gonna give me that outcome with front wheel, back wheel landing. Not a perfect hop, but enough to give you an idea uh, to get started with your practice here. So go on, give us a try. Whether you build a feature board or you just use a curb, that's up to you. But uh, the idea is really the same. 
it's a lot of fun. There's all kinds of things you could use, a, a crack in the sidewalk, you know, um, just about anything that, that's out there, a root, a rock that's embedded into the ground, um, whatever you find. And uh, just go out and give it some practice.